would have been hard to swallow two four-point losses seeing us out of the finals, but Adelaide showed that we weren't ready to, to play against the best in the competition, so we deserve to finish where we did. And we want to be a team that is, wins those big games and uh, grabs a hold of those opportunities. Round one, you, you definitely want to get your season off to the right start, but to the girls' credit, their ability to bounce back so quickly, that was a critical part of, of setting our campaign rolling. Brisbane, yeah, really good performance. That was probably our most consistent performance, really taking away Brisbane's strengths and imposing our game style on them. And that was something we were trying to replicate each week, but um, unfortunately we were sort of a little bit inconsistent around that. This year you could see their education and their understanding of the game had improved. They're communicating with each other under pressure. They were ruthless um, in key moments uh, and yeah, they never looked like losing that game with the attention to detail they had in the dying minutes. The work that the girls have put into their skills, um, their fitness, uh, their strength, like the, they're improving daily. Our top end continues to be consistent. Karen Paxman and Lauren Pearce, uh, they led the way in the midfield with, with Elise O'Day. Younger players like Eden Zanker up forward, her consistency throughout the season. Tyler Hanks, uh, excited to see where she can get to in, in 12 months time. Players we brought in like Maddie Gay, uh, she added another dimension to our midfield. Players like Kate Hoare and Shelley Scott, sort of seeing where they can take their games to. There's a lot to be excited about, but um, I know this group's you know, determined to, to be the best in the competition and, and that's where we want to get to. We're really selective on, on who gets to wear the red and blue and who comes through the doors, so uh, we're, we're proud of the people in our program. I think now that we've got those good relationships, we need to challenge each other to be better and um, be more consistent in the big moments and, and be there for each other when it matters most in those, those key moments on the field. We'll have a really consistent group moving forward. There won't be a lot of change from our list from year to year. So it's moments like that you reflect on and ask the group to draw on and, and build from there in uh, the seasons to come. You only get seven weeks to, to showcase all your hard work, which, you know, which is hard in some aspects, but it is a great opportunity now to work on those areas and then um, put it all on display and when, uh, when February comes around next year and, and season four kicks off.